This part will show you how to optimize the results you have obtained from your motion study in the previous videos. Expand the results folder. Right click on the plot for the magnitude of displacement and choose edit feature. In the plot results section click on create new motion data sensor. Then pick model min. Click OK. Click on Calculate. Right click next to the Motion Study 1 tab at the bottom and pick Create New Design Study. For the variables, click Add Parameter. Give this the name of Ball Speed. Choose Motion for the category. Click on Value and then go back to the Motion Study 1 tab. Expand your Initial Velocity folder and click on Initial Velocity. When you click Apply, you will see that an asterisk is in the linked box. Click OK. For the Min, choose 5000 and for the Max, choose 7000. This is the step. You can think of this as a resolution. Enter 200 here. Now you need to add constraints. In the drop-down menu, click on Displacement 1. This is the sensor you created earlier. Pick is less than, and for the max, enter a value of 100. Next, uncheck the optimization and click Run. SOLIDWORKS will calculate all the results from 5000 to 7000 with a 200 increment. These scenarios are not pink. This means that they meet the constraint which was under 100 millimeters. If you click on the title of a scenario and click play from start, it will show you the animation for that scenario. In this case, scenario 4 looks like the best result. However, you could get better results if you adjust the step so that you have a finer resolution. An alternative method of running a design study would be to check this optimization box, then change the range width step to simply range for the variables. In this case, set the minimum to 5300 and set the maximum to 5600. Next, a goal needs to be added. From the drop-down list, pick Add Sensor. For the sensor type, choose Proximity. Now, click on the face of the cannonball and this interface of the target. Click OK. Now you can click on Run. Once this has done so, the optimal result will be highlighted in green. I hope you find this video helpful.